All right, we are back. Repentance. Sorry. Um. <clears> hey, <throat> everybody. That's what I meant to say. Hey, everybody. Um. Mm, 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 mm. You know what? Tainted Bethany. Go into the dark path. Or true ending or Mega Satan. You can do Dark Path Mega Satan. You could do Dark Path Mega Satan. The only thing you can't do is triple stamp a double stamp. Dumb and dumber. Please don't don't take my items, man. I just got these. I I just okay, we still I mean I guess we don't care if we lose uh random bombs. It feels nice to be playing as a character. Like, I'm not going to say that we're strong, because I don't think that that's true. Remember, red hearts are your friend if you can get to them. Oh, wow. You don't you don't say. There's a tinted rock there. Uh, it's nice to be playing as a character. Like, they, they don't seem to be incredibly strong right now. Tainted Bethany, you know, pretty much default, uh, you know, starting damage and stuff like that. Uh, however, the tears do be red. And the tears being red, I, I still since Flash Isaac, you know, red tears equal higher damage tears. And it just psychologically, I'll tell you straight up, you don't need Arthur Ashe. Which now that I think about it, I don't think Arthur Ashe is a uh, is a social psychologist. I'm pretty sure that's a tennis professional who then there was a stadium named after them. <laughs> hey, but there is an Ash. You know, he did that experiment that's like. Uh, they they show you the groups of lines and ask you to say you know which one is the same length as the test, and then if you they find that there's like some social coercion. If you have to say your answer out loud, you're more likely to say an answer that you disbelieve is true. Um, if other people before you have said it, in order to try to incept you that way. Anyway, we don't. I in. High school psychology, and, and I did, I, I don't have a minor in psychology, but I did take, I don't know, maybe like three or four psychology classes in university. Um, you might say, why didn't you just tough it out, get another two courses and get the minor? Well, my major isn't even worth anything. Maybe that'll uh, keep it in context for you. Oof, 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 oof. Anyway, hold on. But in, in high school in particular, you only really learned about, like, three social psychology experiments, right? There was, um, the, uh, the Ash study, that I, the aforementioned Ash study. There was, uh, the Zimbardo prison experiment, which was... I, I brought that up in chat the other day, just as an offhand reference, as a joke. And it turns out that guy was, like, a total fraud. I've been... You know, when I was in school, there was like a decade where I, you know, oh, it's time for the Zimbardo, wake up, honey, it's time for your lesson on the Zimbardo prison experiment again. Like, I, I learned about that so many times, and then it turns out the dude just freaking made it up? <laughs> What's up with that? You can just do that? Anyway, and then the other one is like that Milgram study, right, where we should, we should use this on the Tinted Rock Room. The Milgram's, or I don't know, maybe, no, we're better off using it on the Tinted Rock Room, I think. The Milgram study is the one that's like, you know, when somebody answers a trivia question wrong, uh, the psycho, I'm so stupid, I'm a genius, I'm the smartest person that's ever existed, sackhead, sackhead, okay, I, I, because of Nancy bombs, this is like, is so devastating. But we did just get a bomb out of it. It's like, I, I think it might pay dividends here, finally. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, he's the greatest gamer in the world, man. Suck on that, Zimbardo. You freaking fraud. Okay, get me out of here. What, what are we even doing with these pills, man? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Try them. Ah, son of a... Okay, but hey, double luck. We'll, we'll do a hold it for now. We have not done Tainted Path, to be sure, but I, I feel a little bit more comfortable on the other side of the coin here, I think. Anyway. 
Yeah, I had no idea. I, I guess I guess Zimbardo. I don't know if he made all this stuff up or he, you know, just succumbed to the pressure to, uh, you know, have a, a noteworthy study. So he fudged some results, but you know, fundamentally, there's a limited difference, I suppose. Uh, especially after you know failing to tell anybody about uh, the fact that you lied for like 30 years. They even made like a crappy movie about it. Like not even a documentary, but like a fictionalized uh, movie about it. Pretty embarrassing, really. Uh, take me out of here, sure. This, this run is weird so far. Keep in mind, we do only have one item. Lemmington. Uh, evil up, that's fantastic. That's very important. Um, we, as of right now, we only have one item. And that is, uh, Mom's... Bottle of pills? Mom, Mom's coin purse? So, effectively, in actuality, we have zero items right now. What the heck? What the heck? It's sometimes... So, we have Nancy bombs, which turns, you know, your, your bombs become random. Um... Some of the bombs spawn a spirit. I've seen it before. I don't know what item does it. Um, or if it's even just a one-time effect occasionally from, from Nancy bombs. But uh, I, I have no idea what it does. But it does be confusing me. It do be confusing me. You know what's a really interesting uh, study? And, and again, I'm not an expert on social psychology. I've just, you know, I've read a couple of books that uh, I have not admittedly done my own due diligence to determine whether or not they're actually like scientifically valid but i do know that they're well liked in the enthusiast press um there's a really interesting study i i think it's called uh, i think the phenomenon is called like the um the heuristic of specificity or something like that and and the way that it works is like it, it illustrates an interesting thing about the human brain. I apologize in advance. I, I myself get annoyed when people like watch a YouTube video about something and they're like, Oh, by the way, here's how the world works. Uh, I watched a seven minute video about something and it changed my life. Extra curse rooms. I, mean, I don't... Who's, I, I'm not saying no to it, you know? I'm not saying no to it or anything. The compass? Hey, hey, would you look at that? Um, uh, hey, would you look at this? But basically, the idea is, I, I think the way that they did this study uh, originally is they described somebody and they were like, you know, this is Sally. Sally has, um, she, she votes, you know, Democrat. She is a, uh, she's very active in, you know, philanthropic and volunteering efforts. And, you know, they, so they, they build a kind of idea of, this person in your head, and then they ask you what appears to be a slightly unrelated question. They say, like, please rank, like, the likelihood that Sally has... It, this statement accurately describes Sally, right? So some of the statements would be, like, she likes dogs or she likes cats. Those would just be designed to basically be, like, the controls. Because what you learn from that, you might think you can infer something, but... You know, mo most people would be like, you know, from <clears throat> hearing how somebody votes, I can't say whether it's more likely that they like, you know, cheesecake or chocolate cake, right? But then there were things related to the profession. So one of them was like, Sally is a bank teller. And then the other one was like, Sally was a bank teller who attends like, um, feminist rallies or something like that. And though, you, if you don't think about it for a second, you might be like, oh, the second one seems more likely because of some of the stuff that we heard earlier. But it's necessarily, like, mathematically false that it's more likely for her to be a, uh, a bank teller that also has something in addition that, that she represents her than that she's just a bank teller because all bank tellers are bank tellers, not all bank tellers also... Um, have like a necessary subset involved with them. It's a very interesting one for me because I, I feel like it, that was definitely one where when I when I read about it a little bit, I felt like a little light bulb go off in my head. Not because like the way that they've structured this study, you know, that I've probably described quite poorly. It might seem a little insidious. It might seem like it's designed to trick you. I think it is, but not because of the design of the study, but because of like the way that the human mind works.
Take me down to the next floor here. You know, we, we're... St something that seems to represent our image of somebody else can seem more likely to be true in our head than what it mathematically makes sense. Um, just due to the fact that, you know, I don't know, you get the idea. Go read Dan Daniel Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Slow. It's a highly recommendable book. Don't rely on YouTubers who play video games for all of your uh, insight into the world. It, it leads you down a bad path, I promise you. I'm, I'm bringing it up not to enlighten, but rather to entertain. Okay, we have nine keys. We have a spider baby. We have, again, like, it, it's very worth noting. We have a, a bad run, but we have good things going for it. Like, we, we don't have... The, the best thing we have on this run is that we have a lot of red hearts that have showed up thanks to, like, a second secret room. Um, and as a result, it appears that this run is super strong, but that, that strength is, is temporarily uh, transient, you know? It is also worth noting... Some people might have been... Like, I didn't even mention it because we're, like, in full-on, like, it's, it's just muscle memory now. Um, but yes, we deliberately didn't go to our deal with the devil on the last floor. Because of the fact that the deal with the devil um, prevents us from having a guaranteed deal with the angel. And, you know, HP is definitely harder to come by as uh, Tainted Bethany, or, or Bethany for that matter. The heck is going... Dude, it's like we're, we actually just have brimstone bombs, huh? That, I mean, you have to... Oh, no, apparently not. You you have to take it, but obviously, like, we we hope that it doesn't come in handy. <laughs> but I would, like, again, without, you know, being not even negative, but without trying to, like, sound the alarm that things on this run are in danger, I really don't think there's much reason to be optimistic about this run just yet. Like, if we could get some static items, some items outside of, you know, the wisps, that actually are gonna stick with us no matter what. Then we could start to feel a little differently, but for now, you know, it's it's still a touch spotty. I, th I do think restock is very nice. By the way, I have no idea what's giving us the stats. Every once in a while, we're just getting stats. That's very nice. I, I don't know where they're coming from, um, but I'm, I'm happy to have them. I don't know, it, it could be something as simple as like, you know, $3 bill or like fruitcake or something like that. I don't know. But it, it seems to be going pretty well. I mean, as long as we don't lose our wisps, we, we really have nothing to worry about. It's, it's only once they start disappearing, and, and they could all go pretty quickly if we fight a boss that like charges at us, for example. But, but for now, obviously, like, it's, it's looking mighty solid. There we go. I <laughs> just... I'm unwilling, apparently, to use a bomb to make that a little easier on us. Like, th this should be fine. And it would be an awesome opportunity to get that first deal with the angel. Like, this, this feels like such a... I mean, Tainted Bethany's just a really fun character. I'm not, uh... I'm not trying to make everything about Tainted Lazarus and how annoying he is to play as. Um, but I'm super stoked that we're not playing as Tainted Lazarus because he stinks and sucks. That Boneheart's gonna, it's gone anyway. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What the heck is this item? <laughs> Isaac item, say heart with sword through it. Immaculate Heart. Okay, Immaculate Heart. I can't... That's how good Google is, man. It gives you a 20% damage multi... Oh, it gives you the Orbital Tears. It gives you a damage multiplier of 1.2. And it gives you a Red Heart Container. So we don't get the Red Heart Container. But we will get 1.2 damage and... Tears that orbit us. Uh, personally, I was originally going to take that. I, I feel like with the benefit of some extra understanding of how this run actually works now we're better off taking the relic which is a, just a very nice you know kind of opportunity for us to pardon me I, I i didn't forget the ability to speak english i just had a big coffee burp uh rise up there um it, it's uh basically it keeps us at close to full hp hopefully 
the end. Full stop. Is this a secret room? It is a secret room. That's mighty nice. I have to be honest, by the way, uh, Anarchist Cookbook, normally I'm not like a... I'm not thrilled with it. Uh, Anarchist Cookbook plus the bombs that uh, always apparently are brimstone bombs for some reason. Uh, big fan of that. That appears... Excuse me? Appears to be working out quite nicely. I think we may have lost... No, because th there were there were brimstone bombs in there. We did just lose a speed upgrade, maybe. We we've lost some things here. I mean, it's impossible to audit what's happening. <laughs> if you if you can look at all of those wisps, you know, and and calculate exactly what we have without pausing the game at any given moment, I strongly encourage you to take your talents off of the YouTube side as a viewer, and instead maybe you can start to work for like the FBI as like a crime scene investigator. Because you have the most throughput and bandwidth of any brain that's ever existed in humanity. Um, so we got a tears upgrade with Binky that gave us a speed upgrade, and I am officially lost. Like ABC's Wednesday night lineup in the mid-2000s, I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we, we should definitely go to our shop. You know what would be sick, man? You know what would be freaking sick? What if we could just get Book of Wisps on this run? Wouldn't that be messed up? We got like 17 different forms of Gimpy right now. Lover's card is is mighty nice. Lemmington. Not that valuable, but, you know, I'm not... Not kicking it out or anything. Another speed upgrade via the belt. Don't... I If you take... Whatever, who cares? You know what would hit the spot? Little Chad, and I, you know, I, I never thought in my in my entire life I'd ever find myself on video saying the expression, wow, Little Chad's really hitting the spot. I apologize. I, uh, I'm going to take the rest of the day to think about my words and my deeds. But it is what it is. Okay, I like the teleport. And you know what? I don't mind the King Baby. I, uh, in fact... I think King Baby has actually become kind of a, a, a fun and or cool item, and it's not paying me to say that. It's dad is paying me to say that, so shut up. What are you? Feels like You're walking on sunshine. sunshine. Nothing wrong with that. So at some point, we got to take this run, you know, to its logical conclusion. We have to take it to the, the dark path. We have to fight Mega Satan and the Lamb. Is that realistic? Yeah. I, I mean, it's it's weird. Like, as of right now, we can't really, I guess, be super stoked about it. Like, I, I, I don't necessarily think I've got a fantastic chance to make it so. I don't think Tainted Bethany is the right character for, for Eddie Rooms here, by the way. But, um, again, you might think that I'm being, like, the ultimate baby by, you know, suggesting, like, oh, it's... This run's so dangerous, it's so hard. Meanwhile, I got, like, uh... I mean, I look like I'm going to the Met Gala, you know, with this outfit I got on here. But, again, they don't last forever. In fact, they, they last, you know, merely highly temporarily. And once they're gone, like, the dangerous thing is that they tend to all go pretty quickly. You know, when you lose one, you tend to lose more. Now, picking up the pentagram as like a static option is fantastic. We're, we're not getting to that curse room, I apologize. But, um, or that super secret room. Can I tell you, I'm kind of excited here. King Baby Isaac's Heart seems kind of interesting. Dank Depths 1. Why don't you start by taking me to the boss fight? And the, my, my only rationale there is we could see early if we get a deal with the angel or not. And there's a lot of deal with the angel items that are, you know, beyond transformative. They're like easy run wins. That was totally fine. We got a deal with the devil. Going to the deal with the devil does not preclude us from getting a deal with the angel anymore. But we really don't want to be tempted to take an item. Maybe we get lost in the banter for 10 seconds. We, we take an item and then we end up losing our uh, uh, angel precedent. Can't even fight Mega Satan. 
So I, I was taking a look there, because I, I thought that maybe we could do true ending. Um, but we've already done true ending, which makes sense. It, it's it's not that difficult. We failed at it a lot recently, but, but part of the reasoning for that... Oh, that's so good. Is really just because, like, you know, we've been... With a few notable exceptions. <laughs> we've only got really difficult characters and, you know, options left. Regular hourglass? I think that's totally fine. Like, I, I'm not anti the bombs, but we have been getting hit by them a lot. Uh, seems somewhat sensible for me to bail on that. Dude, I will totally take Humbling Bundle. And I guess we could we could pretty much get out of this floor. I mean, what, what are we rooting for? Not much, really. What's up with you? There was, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's money there. Don't get me wrong. And with restock, it's a sensible play. There is, uh, one of these had something in it. Uh, it's got more than something. It's got a crawl space. Which is, man, Harlequin Baby, huh? Pretty, I mean, that's transformative. That might win us the run by itself right there. He said without a hint of irony. And the Stars card. What was our other option? Priestess? Okay, Stars card is really nice, actually. Um, if we get the right portal... We could use the stars card to teleport out of the mom fight or boss rush, I should say. Yeah, yeah. So don't don't even think about it. Just do it. You don't have to worry about it. Curse of the Blind boss rush is a slap in the face, but we are still going to get an extra item out of this. He will never make boss rush. Man spitting out serial.jpg. Now, the dream and we need the negative, which spawns on the right, okay? Are we- we, we have to check this, because we- the whole reason we're here to begin with is to try to get, uh, Mega Satan in addition to the Dark Path. So we need the key piece. The boss rush door should stay open. It did. We'll go top right, by the way. Onk. Absolutely- possibly one of the worst items we could get there. <laughs> God's flesh, interesting at least. It's it's a wild run. And I, I apologize, because we are gonna be leaving some stuff behind as we make our way through here. Um and again, there's there's the true ending if we wanted to go that way, but we're not going that way. I also apologize because it, part of the reason that I'm gonna be leaving things behind, it, and there's nothing to say about this except that it is a little bit lazy, it's very difficult to tell what the heck's going on. And I, I, I'm a big believer, whoops, that's the wrong button, uh, in, in, at least to some extent, trying to minimize the amount of moving parts <laughs> that we got. Our moving parts are at an upper maximum right now, you know? It's, uh, I, at, at some point we must have gotten Sacred Heart or something, and, and from that point onwards, it's, I'm, I'm not complaining, trust me, but it's essentially impossible to, uh, follow what's happening at all. Um, so, I actually wanted my bone heart to go, believe it or not, because the, the spirit heart, I guess it doesn't give us any extra space, but it doesn't give us any less space either. And we're going down, yes, this is totally fine, okay. Um, yeah, we, basically, we're just gonna try to coast this one into the finish. I am now of the opinion, for better or for worse, you know, or for, for right or for wrong, um, that this run probably has the ability to make it where we needed it to go. We've gone from having like three items that uh, did nothing to having a lot of items that do something. Plus, we still got, you know, quite a prodigious amount of wisps around us. Uh, the one thing I will say is that I, I feel adrift. Can I tell you something? I, and, and this is at the risk of maybe um, annoying some people. So I say it with no glee. But I feel like Tainted Bethany is zaniness done right. And Tainted Eden is zaniness done wrong. Uh, and I, I don't necessarily mean it in such a way as to, you know, stoke division in the Isaac community. But Tainted Eden for me is just like so zany that it's impossible to follow what's happening. And Tainted Bethany, I'm like, it's impossible to follow what's happening. But rather than have everything get tipped over every single time you get hit, you're building the Zane over time. 
So it's almost, it gives you the ability to almost have a thread that you can hang on to to figure out what's happening. But you just can't quite get a grasp on everything, you know? It's like a greased sphere. Just slips out of your fingers just when you're about to get a grasp on it. Um, but I, I think that this is, this is a zany character I can get down with. Okay, why not go to the boss fight immediately and then just remember we're going down after that? Dude, that, that portal item, which at some point I should learn the name of. Um, look at how fast... We were at Debs 1 at 18 minutes and 30 seconds and we can fight Hush at 22 minutes. <laughs> That's amazing! And then again, okay, so this will only take us to the secret room, unfortunately. But still, like, that's super neat. Like, that, what a, what a weird item, but also, like, a very fun one. I, I originally, I'm not afraid to admit that I thought the portals were, like, kind of bad. We now have Tractor Beam uh, somewhere on this run. So that, combined with the unbelievable amount of damage we have here, is just... I mean, it's amazing. I am very conscious of the fact that at some point we could lose uh, Sacred Heart or Godhead, I think it is. Uh, I, I, I think I saw a Godhead Wisp at some point here. Um, if we lose Godhead, like, this run is going to get a lot worse. But I think a lot worse is still, like, an easy victory for our, where we stand at present. What the heck? <laughs> you took my Godhead! And then you... Oh, that's... that's Things are sped up because I have... Taurus, I suppose. Okay. Whatever. You're toasted. Easiest kill of my life. We got perfection. Uh, yes, we'll absolutely take it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. Perfection going down to the dark room. Alright, so let's crack these open. We do have Curse of the Blind, so, I mean... We might as well fight the lamb right off the bat. There's no reason not to. Um, we will not do a victory lap. That's important. Because that's one thing knocked off the post-it note. That's expansion pack, apparently. We have done Delirium. That's nice to, to, n to not have to do it again. I don't have the names of like the achievements and stuff memorized, by the way. I just uh, it, it, it pops up in the bottom right corner of my screen. But because I don't use display capture, you can't see it. Okay, dude, honestly, like, we, I got used to the muscle memory of having marked on this run. So having marked, uh, for real, statically, doesn't bother me at all. Wow, this run ended up... Now, again, am I ashamed of my complaining? As always, no. It's my brand. That sort of thing is my brand, baby. Do I make you wine, baby? Yeah! Austin Powers. A little girdy. A gird of your own. This is one of the fastest uh, runs you're ever going to see that is accomplishing this much. It's kind of staggering. I... I and <laughs> again, this is one of the reasons I'm loving this run. Is I mean, obviously you love any run that's, that's strong for the most part. But uh, I'm also loving the fact that, like, I don't really know why. We can't bomb our way out of here. I, I really don't have an answer for, like, you know, it, why the run is so good, which is part of the reason that I've been skeptical, right? Like, there's a, the idea in my head that, like, if if the wrong wisp gets erased, then it's all over. Um, but as of right now, that, you know, it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. Okay, I think we're, I mean, we're one room away from the Mega Satan fight. I definitely, I mean, I, I, I think it would be very disingenuous to root for, or to expect a loss here. Uh, let's, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an item. I'm, I might even take a second one now. Can I tell you something? I think I might take a third. I'm probably not gonna take a fourth, though. That, that, we, we got a little... You know, they took the wind out of our sails on that last one, but that's okay. Alright, I, I do expect this to be easy, and I will, uh... I would, I would be annoyed to see it all come crashing down here, but we'll see. 
There are some attacks that, that maybe could just, like, ruin our wisps, but... I mean, you saw the, how quickly we just erased death. Like, he didn't even summon his horsemen. He was just gone. This... I... I, I can't say with complete confidence that this is true. But this feels like it's the strongest run we've had in Repentance. Which is really nice, because it's such a weird one. <laughs> like, look at it. Maybe it's not the exact strongest. We had some weird, like, uh, you know, angelic brimstone ones. Like, Trisagion, or whatever it's called. Um, but, but it's certainly... Uh, it's certainly incredibly strong. Although, clearly, we've lost some things, you know, over the course of this. It's really hard to dodge these wisps out of the way. But the, the damage is still being done. We still got... I was just going to say, we, get, we still got 10 damage. Hey, we still got 9 damage. What a fun one. What a fun run we won there. That one run we won was fun. Confessional's been unlocked in addition to Expansion Pack. How about that? Um, really good job there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!